I thought it was pretty cool. It it looks good. Yeah, I'm uh I like the first one that they came out with. The only thing I had to say about the first one was like the kills were not like merely my favorite. There was nothing like stand out about it. Maybe there was like one scene where it was uh, kind of brutal, was, and I, I think that was the jack o' lantern scene. Yep. Yeah, and it was like we some random person he just yeah, killed. Yeah, it was a cop. I was like, I why think it was did... a cop I, that he killed? I was like, that was kind of pointless because like he went inside the house deliberately just to do it. I'm like. Hmm, he really doesn't do that usually, and unless they're in his way, then yeah, he'll go kill you, and then he knows you, oh, and no, he'll uh, kill you. But I was thinking of a different uh, kill, I think, because you're thinking of the one in the house. I was thinking of the one where yeah, he, like Jack right? Lantern's the cops. Yeah, 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 he yeah just where he just goes into some in the random house. person house. Yeah, that one was a little extra. Um, mm. Other than that, I mean, I I like the movie. I like Jamie Lee Curtis back. I like so she's kind of like this badass now, kind of towards the end, because she's just like f this guy already. I've been. I've been through my teenage years, and I'm already 60, 70 years old, and I'm still dealing with this asshole. <laughs> I feel like that's the best part of it, is she's not even scared anymore. She's just fed up. She's just like, get yeah. the f- out of my house! It's exactly. So It was good. I liked it for, for what it was and that. But uh, I guess, like I said, there was just no memorable, like, Michael Meyer, you know, kills or anything. Like, you know, just yeah. things like, oh, wow, that was kind of thought creative. E- like, even you know. with their jump scares, I felt like it was... Not necessarily like disappointing by any means, but just... I mean, I did like the teeth part. Remember when he was dropping all the teeth yeah, on the floor? I mean, that was, was kind of cool, decent. little creepy effect. But yeah, I mean, but, still. But I mean, I feel like a lot of Michael Myers is in suspense and uh, shock. Like those are mm-hmm. what those classic horrors were built on: is suspense build up into shock kills. And I felt like the shock kills in that movie were less well built maybe it was i don't know what it was maybe that maybe i'm wrong you know what i mean and it was Mm -hmm. i'd have to watch it again too because i only seen it once and you know i just have to probably watch it over again give it another good thorough watch and see what i kind of didn't like still about and what i did like but uh, from what i remember i I mean it was still an enjoyable watch for halloween movie (laughs) no and i it was it was fine it was good it was a fine installment to the series um it just wasn't like I don't know, impressive, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it's fine, not all movies are impressive. It's just that's how I felt on that one in specific. I was like, it's cool, but... Yeah. It's not gonna, like, go down as, like, my favorite Halloween in history, or, like, Mm -hmm. I I like H2O better than that one, honestly. H2O, yeah, it's pretty good. I remember. They did a good job of, like, parodying it into the modern age, I feel like, with that. Like, it had its own twist. It kind of went along yeah. the biggest problem with it was his lack of story coherence mm-hmm. but that's... i mean the the story i yeah, gets a little jumbled up after yeah. what like the fourth or fifth yeah <laughs> to be and fair then... h2o just had like was like yeah it's just some random people in his house that was the, right that, that was it that was there that was the whole plot i believe was just like yeah it's just some random people in the house and i was like cool i guess uh i don't know I don't know. But. So, yeah, we'll see how it comes out then, the second one. Uh, for sure, it was supposed to come out this year, but, you know, with all this stuff going on, yeah. um, they've pushed that indefinitely till next year, Halloween now. So we'll see if we can go actually see that in the theater next year. That would though. be nice. I think that would be a real nice thing. Uh, the, my, like I said, my biggest thing for the whole future of that is we don't really necessarily know yet exactly what's how gonna things. happen yeah yeah and it's unfortunate kind of truth but it is the truth nonetheless in that like it may be that the years are not coming back uh for the foreseeable future at the very least you mm-hmm. know a couple years and i mean i don't know how you feel about that especially given your situation it, now but yeah no it, it does suck you know but uh it's just you know, I, I that like you said, it might be something that theaters. I don't know. Maybe they may have to come up with a plan of some sort of where like they have to shut down Private. for at least a good two years and making sure that you know they they accumulate all their money and hold on to it, and not waste it, and just like you know, mm-hmm. like their own self put well, themselves in a shutdown. And and the thing about the movie industry as is, is it was already kind of losing money. We were already having issues with movie theaters, I feel mm-hmm. like. And yeah, there there was a, you know, I think it's just cuz prices were going up and all the that thing stuff. Is, but, and not a lot of people is, like to go anymore, the, really. Yeah, they like to stay in and watch a movie now. Right. And and once again the the competition with Freedia being a, 
a big part of that. Like, yeah. why would I pay 20 bucks to go watch a movie for an hour and a half when I can watch this 30 day podcast series that I can, you know what I mean? Watch for the next 30 days for free. Mm-hmm. Uh, and not, not saying people don't, cause I still go to the movies for whichever movies I want to see on the screen. And right. And once again, the industry being fueled currently by that, at least partially, maybe, I don't know, probably still a majority, I'd say, of the film industry's initial take is from, now they're, they're, their actual gross use usually is on merchandise, not on film stuff, so it's tough to say how the future of film is going to go in general. Uh, we, we just got to wait and see and hope that they make the adjustments that are necessary I mean, to keep people safe and get us into the theaters, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I mean, if they have to build a bubble, <laughs> right? Sort. I was thinking about them, like I guess private I, viewing. I mean, booths, really, they the they same... have to start thinking of something. I mean, the, I my problem is this. All right, so here's my issue with the movie concept as part of you know that is going to the movies. Right? Why do you go to the movies? Like the reason to go to the movies mm, for me, it's always been. I like to experience. You know, you can never get a good a good film to kind of show that off. Would be um, remember the uh, Quiet Place, where everything was just silent for like yeah. the first thirty minutes of the film. Well, that was like that's what brings the experience. You know, you come into the movies and you're all sitting here with all these random changes you have no clue who they are and you're sitting there and you enjoy and you're all just experiencing this same thing together you guys are all on the same ride and what was just cool about the silent or the quiet place was that like literally everyone was shut up for like 30 i have never heard my entire life the theater (laughs) that quiet in my whole life it was just like a weird not weird experience but it was just like a only experience that you could only get from watching that movie and so those are the kind of things I like to go to the theaters for because you can experience these kind of things that really, I guess, yeah, would only be experienced through that. Like, I understand that's why he didn't want Quiet Place 2 to come out mm-hmm. was because he said that it would ruin the whole movie experience if it is not shown in the theaters and with everyone. He said he does not want this to be uh, to be put on demand. He's, he's told already the director. Um, he just said that that's the experience he wants everyone to go through and he wants to continue it with the second one. Um, which is understandable. So, I mean, I guess it's probably the only reason why I like to go and then two, just cause I like the bigger screen and the surround sound, yeah. especially for a movie that is made for like a big screen, like Godzilla, you know, yeah. it's like, especially you want to go see that on the big screen. But, uh, I think those are probably my, my biggest, uh, top, you know, reasons why I like to go. So I'd say you're right. I think those are basically the two big reasons people go to the movies is one, um, and in either direction, obviously, depending on the person. But for one, they want a bigger screen, better sound, better everything, right? It's, mm-hmm. it's, it's just higher quality. They have nicer stuff. They pay for it. That's what they do. Uh, two, to have an experience, right? Like, you're not going to the movies to sit alone in the theater and watch this most of the time. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like it just I mean, I've seen it and you're there happened. to gasp with your audience. Yes. <laughs> and to kind of like and even if you're not actively socially engaging the room and kind of getting the thing like you said there's an experience to this movie that is it's like a ride, you know what I mean? The roller coaster mm-hmm. or something. Uh and there'll be up parts, down parts, quiet parts, loud parts, uh emotional parts and not, you know what I mean? The the point being that it is not just to watch the movie. You want to mm-hmm. watch it with either somebody or people else. And even mm-hmm. if you're not in a group or have come together with them, you are in a communal setting, kind of like church, I'd say. You don't go to church. And you do can go alone, obviously, but you go to church to commune, right? It's a mm-hmm. community thing. And it's an experience that you have to do together. Mm-hmm. Not have to, but that is is just... intended to be done together. Yeah, at least yes. in that medium. And so that is what brings me to my thing of like the issues with these uh these like any plan to make it safe. Mm, I see what you would mean. Immediately yeah, that would of separate yeah, the experience. I could see what you mean by that. Now six feet 
maybe you know what i mean you're close enough to maybe hear people but once you start enclosing doing that yeah you start losing a lot of your uh your customers and i mean once you do the six feet apart you know you can you lose four or five seats there and oh yeah so, yeah you, i mean it's, it's really hard to say i mean i really hope that the theaters can come up with some type of plan or some sort you know because that is kind of like a a big chunk of like i guess my life a little bit because <laughs> that is one yeah, thing I mean, that i love to just go do just I'd, go see the movies i'd say i don't go drinking i don't go to the bars yeah. very much i like to go to the movies more often than anything i'd say more often than not probably roughly 50 percent of the time americans generally go to the movies maybe not as often as like you or me but you know they will most likely see several movies a year Mm-hmm. in theaters uh, not not everybody especially nowadays you know what i mean when we were kids for sure i'd say that that was the case that almost have probably much closer like 80 percent of americans went to the theater several times of the year even if it was not like the new theaters you know what i mean go to the fi- the dollar mm-hmm. like five dollar theater oh yeah yeah uh, which still is a is a bigger screen a communal Right. And and even beyond, like, they've made it a thing beyond just watching the movie. You know what I mean? When I go into a movie place, I expect there to be a concession stand, probably a little arcade. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Some kind of uh, uh, poster in, on the wall for... Uh, just the next thing that's coming yeah, out yeah, that you're like, I didn't like, even know that was coming. Or, or even the current <laughs> ones. I remember going up to the old ones and being like, oh, look what's on the wall. This is what's playing today. You know what I mean? Like, oh, mm-hmm. this giant poster of Underworld or some shit. You know what I mean? Like, and so it is like a super communal thing. I'm not sure how they'll get around it. Smarter than people than me are going to have to figure that one out. Uh, we've talked about maybe the possibility of drive throughs hopefully becoming resurgent. Yeah, in that those, case. and those have been popping up. Well, they were in the summertime, but now that it, the wintertime is right, coming, I don't know if they will continue yes, to do that. And so I don't know. They've got to figure that out for one, right? They've got to figure out a way, even if it means tent doming a. Yeah, right. You exactly. Know what I mean? It might not be the same as an old school drive through to look up at the stars or whatever, but we're in the city. Mm-hmm. You can't see any stars anyway, let's be honest. <laughs> right. um, I don't know. I, I re- we, You know what I mean? We really can't say. We can hope that everything is better and we get, you know you know whatever forms whatever form that might take whether it's through our safety precautions or vaccine or etc uh that we'll get to a point where the movies keep coming out man because i miss i mean remember when we were getting like three four marvel movies a year yeah that's uh that that we got no marvel movies this year i don't think we had a single marvel movie did we wait i don't think we did uh, I don't think we double... did because it's the Black Widow was supposed to come out this year, and what else was supposed to come out this year? Uh, Venom. Venom was supposed to come out this year. Venom no, no, two. No. no, 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 we didn't get a Marvel Studios movie, but we did get the New Mutants. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I heard, you know, again didn't do so well, but I still have to go watch it, so I'm not too sure I, about it. I don't it. think I have it to did. Let myself and see. I don't. And my problem was, I don't think it was ever going to do well. They're not after the, the many delays. Oh uh, yeah, I mean even that. that made it worse by far, right? Like that totally mm-hmm. destroyed it. But but even before that, the New Mutants is very much like an '80s crowds thing, like '90s crowd thing. I feel where it's like these are not the main X Men that everybody knows. Everybody knows the main cast of X Men. Whether you were born in the '60s to today, they keep making X Men comics and cartoons and and including the originals but new moons while they keep getting new stuff they never really branch out and get their own stuff individually like shows and mm-hmm. etc and, and this would have been the one that set it off for them but and they... there were mistakes made too even in the general process of like i felt like it wasn't i felt like there were good ideas right like making it a horror movie was one of the best ideas i think they've ever had it they really shouldn't let this movie deter them. It's, I think they won't. One, because it was Sony. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Sony's pretty much done with mutants anyway. Two, because Marvel has already kind of suggested and hinted that Doctor Strange 2 is going to be a horror-ish movie. That's what I've heard, yeah. Uh, with the multiverse of madness and nightmare, it makes a lot of sense for mm-hmm. it to be a horror movie. I think the tone of it makes a lot of sense, uh, given his role in Infinity War and uh endgame he was not the same character device that he was in his own movie 
mm-hmm. is very much kind of like more falling into the role of Doctor Strange. Like, all right, this doesn't get done. Everything is done for. Like, not just Earth, not just people, like, the multiverse is in danger, and, like, that encompasses some really scary things. And I'm hoping they'll they'll delve a little deeper into, like, the bigger Marvel cosmos or, like, physio- uh, physics stuff, you know what I mean? Talking about, like, eternity, the multiverse, you know. Just... I mean, they kind of teased us with that with Spider-Man, but it wasn't even it a was tease, a, it, it was, was a, more of just a it lie. Was a fake out. It was a <laughs> fake out, man, it was a fake out. I, I was so kind of disappointed in that, honestly. It's just like, you hear the multiverse being, you know, talked about, and then you're just like, when it comes to be, you're just like, ah, oh my gosh, okay, whatever then. I mean, it was good. I did like Mysterio. He was like pretty true, accurate Mysterio to who I grew up with, the 90s cartoon. Yeah. But like, I just got so, I was so mad at that part. I was just like, come on, guys. Like, you know, that's what we're all waiting for. And it's just like, mm, well, we'll, we'll take now, it back. And we'll, now, we'll do it later, probably, but we'll take it back for right now. And now, <laughs> the bigger problem, even than that now, is I feel like, all right, we have this issue of this year off is going to be a problem for them. They needed to push yeah. for on demand or something. I mean, I understand wanting to keep people safe. And then I also understand not taking your brand. I don't know. it. And I always... I mean, are we still getting Scarlet? It sounds like we're getting Scarlet or uh, Scarlet Witch in Vision December oh, I is mean, what I've been hearing. Oh, is it? Actually, that might be that's, all right. That's but what I was hearing. I heard that it was supposed to come out Vision December. Vision release date. I think we had talked about this. Yeah, yeah, December. Okay. The that's, problem is that's it's... at a, least one thing, but The still. problem is it's not going to be a big screen release. No, 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 no. Yeah, definitely not, Will. It, and, this is something more for the hardcore Marvel fans who, like, want to invest, their, I think, their time more into this universe. And, and of course, they Disney want, Plus. They, you know. Yeah, and Disney Plus. But So you have to buy this new subscription if you want to so, go more deeper into this. So here's my thing. They're now releasing Wonder Woman on Christmas. That's, they said, Christmas time for Wonder Woman. Uh... Or maybe it's thirteenth. I don't know. It's I think it was Christmas Christ- yeah, time. Yeah, I think they, they were moved saying. it back again. the The problem is that's going to be a film release. They're going to put it in mm-hmm. theaters, and there is just no comparing in a stream release to a film release currently. Once mm-hmm. the world changes a little bit, I don't doubt that that will not be the case anymore. Yeah, I mean, Trolls World Tour, and what was another one? Uh, Scooby Doo, that new Scooby Doo movie, I think they they did supposedly they did a good job of you know getting a lot of the money and streamers to watch their their movie, even saying more people watched it on demand and they you know if they were to go see it in theater is what I've heard, but I don't know. No, how it, well the problem those is numbers that, are the problem is obviously too that two cases aren't enough for us to make a. Study. Yeah, those are the only two that I can say that and, I've done. And good. I don't doubt at all that they did, or that in the future it's going to change, right? Like I'm absolutely sure that in the future streams will outdo TV. Like I thought. Yeah, that seems like that. I mean, yeah, that we've been trying to be an inevitable feature. Future. I'd say 15 years max. That sounds about yeah, about right to when me. When the kids um, today are uh, maybe 20, when the kids today are adults, they won't watch TV. TV will be gone for them. They will have grown up with any medium that they wanted to watch online, f- basically for free. And you know, it's going to be kind of weird, you know, because then you have like these people who are all, you know, to what their likes are and everything. And, you know, when we grew up, we, we grew up watching just whatever <laughs> was on the TV. No, and-, and you just would just suck that all that information mm-hmm. in. And so you would learn a lot more stuff and know a lot more stuff. But like, I think, like you said, if we do go the streaming way, that I feel like people will stick to what they just like, and that's all they're going to ever really like, and they'll never the, the, branch out into other things. I feel like it just depends. I will say I think the one thing I will give YouTube on that is its excellent use of like suggestive material. Ah, yes. Yeah. There are excellent at suggesting stuff that is not what you're watching, but that you do enjoy watching. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm always just like going through something that's like, how to make a sword. I'm like, well... All I right, kind of well, want to watch that. Yeah, it's like, I watched that for a couple of Ah, it's all over my mm, preferred videos now. No, no, but uh, no, in all seriousness, 
not to say that's a substitute for the multi stuff that we went through or to say that there weren't other lessons to be that we learned growing up by watching TV on television. Right. But I do feel like it's just part of the world and technology. You know what I mean? We watch television way more than our parents watch television. That's that's a true fact. That's for sure. Um, you, you know, they yeah, are, they're always telling me how cartoons were only on on Saturdays. Mm-hmm. How you know what I mean? And uh, now cartoons are considered, you know, some very emotional pieces of work. Some of them I watched. Uh, what was it? Fireflies. Uh, of, of to the grave or something. I can't oh, remember exactly. You finally, you finally watched the Miyazaki I one. Watched, I should. I shouldn't so have watched rough, it. Huh? Have, I shouldn't have, have watched you, it. Did you? Did you know the? <laughs> did you know the fact about the cover? No, I did not. What was the fact? So the cover on the original one of the original poster pieces. If mm-hmm. you run it through like a negative filter, it shows what the fireflies actually are, and their bombs going off in the background. <laughs> oh it's okay. kind of fucked up i shouldn't laugh but i i do because it's very much kind of pushed forward yeah. in the art as a soft manga and it is not a soft manga at no. all hey I, I showed it to my son and he was like why did you show me that movie <laughs> <Why>? <laughs> yeah, this is why you always got a screenshot before the kid watches it you gotta or at least do more google reviews like what is this movie about i don't yeah so oh, I, I, the kids all die oh, i will see i knew it was sad but like yeah, that once one again, that large. one that one's a really sad one. It's on the list of a lot of people's top like anime sadness. Uh, speaking of anime, there's a couple things we should cover too. Uh, but speaking of anime, I think one of the biggest there's a couple of news pieces. One that deals with like some of the stuff we do on our channel, like on YouTube, and then also just in general, uh, is that Sony is apparently looking oh, to buy buying Crunchyroll. Yeah. Huh? Mm-hmm. I heard about that. Well, wasn't it supposed to be somebody else though? Somebody else is it's looking into it. It's up and down right now, but it's it's looking heavily like even if it's not Sony, Sony we'll even if it's not Sony, somebody's gonna do it. Yeah, the no, thing no, no, is, no, I... Sony has the most reason to do it, so a lot of people are very pretty certain they will if everything I, goes through. They'll I cont- hope. I really hope they don't. I really don't because honestly, they haven't proved proven to us that they can do things like that. You know, because yeah. they they're not really into the streaming business. They're not really in that. I think they they're, they're more of just let's make movies and I, well, let's being, make audio devices. Well, they're <laughs> and stop making computers because we sucked at that. <laughs> yeah, I believe that they currently and it's one of their subsidiaries actually. But I believe that uh, Sony owns Funimation currently. Do they? I thought it was uh I could oh, be correct. It? But the I reason it... the reason uh yeah, currently it's uh Is majority it owner ninety five percent through a joint venture between Sony I, yeah, music. I, think I do remember that when that I, happened. I think it wasn't too recently. You know, or maybe they actually started it. I don't know. Mm-hmm. What I do know is that they currently own Funimation, so if they do buy and I don't know. I haven't done a ton of the fan- Funimation stuff, but I've heard up and down on it. I mean, uh, Funimation's been pretty good to me. I like uh, a lot of the stuff that they've released I, on there. They're, it's more of just is... the dub kind of thing. They're not really focused on subs or anything. Right, and that was gonna, on... that was what I was going to ask about is how is their transference rate, like from material to English and, and re- material to release? You know, they do a pretty good job, I think. They do that new thing where um, it's called the simulcast or okay. whatever they like to call it. Yeah, they that was something Funimation started doing, like, I think a year or two ago. And they really went uh, home on it, saying that we can go ahead and get our streams on the same, not the same day, but the next day after the show just came out. So, like, you would be right behind with the Japanese show or when it was released out there, which I thought was pretty good. And a lot of the dubbing, a lot, you know, I'm not one of those people like, oh, I have to watch it in uh, subtitles because you're not getting like the full like effect of like the emotion and everything, which is somewhat true. But I think a lot of uh, voice actors in America have now gotten better to that because it's more accepted now anime than it was back then. So like it was kind of like this little niche thing, like probably voice actors are like I'm doing anime, guys. Right. Don't tell, tell anybody. <laughs> and I, then now, like now, like it's think... like a big explosion, and people everywhere love it. And I, I just feel like now that, um, more 
more conveying of emotion with the American actors. I think they're doing a better job of that, at least to me. <laughs> I, I agree on a lot of the newer shows. Not all of them, obviously, but mm-hmm. a lot of the newer shows, I think also the increase in like quality has to do with the fact that the seriousness of manga has been more appreciated. It's not just kids' medium anymore. A kid, yeah, show, yeah. So it they they want to put in more obviously with it being more profitable and more popular it's more beneficial for them to put in hard work and get more parts from that you know mm-hmm. there's a there's a whole slew of things uh so my problem though with anybody doing stuff like currently and obviously yeah, other people are doing it as well but with the acquisition from Sony to Crunchyroll is they'll then own Crunchyroll and Funimation which will cover basically all of the English dub and sub that is released in America mhm which, I mean, yeah, you'll be able to watch everything now at that point, yeah, which would be nice. But it also means that they, they can charge whatever they want, change yeah, whatever they want. they could. And the bigger problem is going to come into merging two companies like that. I very much doubt that it's going to go that smoothly. Yeah, you never know because some companies are I'm like, okay, we'll merge, of... but we really will let you guys continue to do everything, but yeah. we're, you're just a part of us now. <laughs> so so my biggest example of that is the recent Disney, Hulu, ESPN kind of plug oh, stuff. Oh, kind of a, okay. Which is where they're merged, but they're not really merged. Mm-mm. You know what I no, mean? No, Hulu's kind of like Disney's like, okay, like our more like stuff that we don't want on our Disney Plus stuff because it's too much for that. Yeah. Our, our st- yeah. we'll throw it on hulu because like they did hellstrom you definitely oh, not gonna I catch do. that show on, i gotta go uh, watch maybe, Plus. maybe i'll do that for one of my last reactions yeah I, it just go came out. I always one. gotta watch it too yeah is it going I, I, in I episodes or season i i haven't even checked it on myself <laughs> i played it on myself one day and I, I somebody bothered me and i i never got to finish the first episode so i gotta get back thing, into it i gotta do some stuff after this speaking of what time are we in we're getting close to our so we talked about the anime. Did you read any, I guess, new comics? I know The Last uh, Ronin came out this week, and that was see. kind of the big, big, big book last week. Um, I mean, of course, I mean, we have Kevin Eastman and Peter Lard returning Thanks. together to do a comic book after, I don't know, maybe 15 years yeah. of separation because yeah, of some stuff that minute. happened between with them on the toy line and stuff like that. There's a good documentary about it. You should check it out. Or maybe you have, but The Toys That Made Us. Uh, yeah, they you do were the telling Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, one. and it's really it goes just deep into like you know how they were really they had a good brotherly strong love, and Peter Lard I think is like ten years older than Kevin Eastman, but like they they like they just were like brothers because they just matched like they loved comics, <laughs> and so they would just always draw turtles, and he'd be like, hey, let me draw a turtle, okay, I'm gonna draw a turtle, and then yeah, they would just always mess around. So um, it's just really cool to see them back together, coming up with like a this really kind of gritty story that that they were known for from the start of the beginning um because the turtles were never uh kind of kiddish at the beginning in the comics they were really kind of gruesome in the books and a little dark yeah there. they were very much more ninja than uh teenager <laughs> and they didn't have the different color bandanas that's well, they all were the orig- red <laughs> wasn't the original one all in black and white though it too? was all black and white but they kevin eastman and them had said that they all the turtles had red, red bandanas yeah, in yeah. there it's one of those the artist statements fillers. It's like, yeah, we didn't color it then, but they were all red. It's in the <laughs> So I mean, yeah, because it was pretty cool. It was a good. Uh, it was. Uh, I kind of already knew who the last Ronin turtle was, but it was still a good surprise because I was like, mm, that's the person who needs like Some a stuff. good like like more gritty background to him, darker story to him. I think it would be good. If you check it out, it's really interesting. Um, I like it so far. It's just this uh, futuristic kind of turtle. Did it come out this week or last week? Yeah, it came out this week. Yeah, it was this Wednesday. It was supposed to come out like in September, but then they pushed it all the way back to October. Let's see. I'm looking for it. Ended up being, I think... Uh, let me see. I think it was like an eighty-page book of some sort. It was like an eight ninety-nine dollar book. It's pretty thick. It was a little thick book, that's for sure. But Big point. Um, yeah, it was it was a fun read. I did enjoy reading it. So I'm I can't wait till the next issue and see kind of where it's gonna go from there. It looks cool. It's got some nice cover. Uh, I was they even changed the artist because the artist who was doing it originally only did like the first issue, and then they had to. That's why it got pushed back. Was because. They redid the whole artist. I actually have an at two ash cans 
of the original artwork so those ones actually been kind of going up in price now because you it's the original work and you can't find it nowhere else unless you got the ash cans from it and they're, they're like a huge ash can too usually ash cans are like this small and this thing was like magazine size mm. so it was a uh, pretty cool to check it out but um other than that that's all i really i think read was just the last ronin um that's the only book I was really excited to read. I think I did check out uh, the new Spider-Man book that came out. Um, that I think that was it there, though. Spider-Man 51 or Spider-Man Noir? I think it's 51 I was trying to read. I have okay. to catch up on Department Truth as well. So that one... I that think one's coming out. Most of the ones I was doing, I checked out uh, Tartarus, which was pretty cool. I don't know if you'd seen that from Image. I've I've seen that uh that book before. I've just never actually uh, read it before. Uh, read that one, but I have seen it on the shelf before. It's, it's cool. I like the art for one. It's got kind of a little flat tone, so I think you'll like the art. Uh, hmm. And it's it's just got a nice, interesting twist on some of the story stuff. So it's cool. The other nice. stuff was mostly Marvel and DC, like finishing up runs and catching up on runs. There were a couple cool things that were in individual on those. Uh, I I was the last God got a spinoff, which was cool for DC. Which it was pretty cool. It's it's really like dense, but it's it's a decent read. Nice. Um, DC had this whole rise of the news god things which totally screwed their hierarchy <laughs> again which they were still recovering from the last screwing of it but whatever yeah, they have a lot of spin-offs from what i've seen lately oh it's all dark knight metal like despite <laughs> the fact that all these books are going the only thing i ever hear people talk about dark knight metal dark knight metal like the only yeah stuff that's I see, all i've been hearing as well too <laughs> the, the only is and the, the messed up part is it sucks Honestly, in my opinion, of course, I'm sure some people are really liking it, but it's, it's taking all of the worst parts of DC Comics for me and amplifying them, which is too much fucking Batman and no goddamn cosmic hierarchy structure to speak of that seems to make any sense at all. Okay, okay. Um, uh, the other I know that Robin King book came out. Did you check that out yet? Yeah, it was okay. There were some big holes in the writing, in my opinion. Uh, but I mean, it's Batman, so he do it he wants, right? <laughs> yeah. Because um, the uh the other one was what was it that came out? Uh, I can't remember if you read it, but I can't remember. I guess that was it for DC, man. They really have not been hitting hard. They oh, three Jokers, three Jokers finished. Oh yeah, I actually have not even started the first issue yet. I still gotta get on it. Um. It I mean, matter. I heard some Batman fans were liking it, but um, other than that, that's uh, all I've heard, so I haven't, I haven't checked it out yet. Most of my forums are screaming about how bad it is. So, is it? It doesn't matter. It doesn't make yeah. any difference. Yeah, okay. It doesn't... Huh. There's no real new information revealed. There's no real lasting effects on characters, except for maybe one or two. And... Because it's only three issues long, there's not even a really good story arc. You know what huh, I mean? Okay. Yeah. The 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 little things that make it good are callbacks to old Batman stuff, which and that's what I heard. It was more of just like the callbacks, I guess, from the Bat old Batman. Like I guess you, if you were a Batman reader, you would know, like, oh wow. But then that was about it. <laughs> that, yeah, that's it. It's, it's like, oh, he's mentioning this story from chapter one sixty. It's like I don't give a shit. It doesn't matter. It's not changing anything. It's not. It's like the one. Well, there was the one scene in the boys where they just have sex in season two. Starlight and Huey in the motel. Oh yeah, it, is, it doesn't change anything. Like yeah, I know you. We talked saying about, about that, that one. one. Yeah, yeah, that one. <laughs> well, it, um, there was another book I guess here that maybe you should check out. It just came out last week, I think. Not this week, but the week before. And people have been cry like crying about this book too, like saying it is wonderful. It's called uh, "We Live," hmm. and it's from AfterShocks Comics. And this is a really cool uh, comic. Like this is how you do a. Uh, a, um... Oh, okay. They got a three-page spread. Mm-hmm. That's like the cover, actually. 
So they actually made the cover like this foldable inside, and then you remove it, and then you can see the whole, like, co- I mean, as much as you can with this. Uh, but I thought that was really cool. Like, you know how some comic covers, will, you have to buy, like, two or three of the issue, and then you can connect them, and it makes this yeah, big yeah. picture. My, and my, I was like, My question is, is cool. how much was that? Uh, oh, this is, no, three ninety nine. It was That's a pretty good, then, man. I'm I'm gonna start looking at Marvel and DC and asking what's uh, what's going on, man. Why can't you give us some quality shit? Cause... Actually, sorry, I lied. Four ninety nine, but still, that is still a good that's price, like a, that's, <laughs> dude. That's like regular Marvel book price, honestly. Yeah, you should check it out though. It is really awesome. It's it's about you know hu- the human society and how we've kind of like we always go through like these like apocalypse times and we always come above it and stuff and all that. Now there's another apocalypse coming to uh, happen. And I guess like the earth is going to be gone in like so many days. And so these aliens come and they want to help us. And so no, what they do is that one. I think, yeah. And then they send us uh, uh, pods to mm-hmm. the earth and only two children are allowed a bracelet. Yeah, um, and they gotta go on the trip to like yeah, get they gotta there go through, through this the trip monsters. And then, yeah, I remember because yeah. there was like the bus crash, and he's like, get oh, out. yeah, yeah, yeah. See, yeah, so you did see. Okay, yeah, yeah. That was the up yep, the bus crash. Yep. I think you told so, me about that one a while ago. That or I just never, saw it really? and read it. Maybe that you I just saw it. it and read. That's what I'm say, maybe the cover <laughs> looked familiar. Like the high tech drill thing looked pretty familiar, and I was like, because when was it released? It came out just two weeks ago, so maybe you... Oh, maybe it I, was at the last... Maybe you did read it. I, I, I might have just read it then. I do remember that, though. I was looking through it. I was like, this looks pretty good. I like it. It's got, like, a nice It was twist. interesting. That was the I last... also like this little ending, too. It's like, don't be Bobby's dad. Because Bobby's dad is, like, trying to take one of the bracelets from one of the other kids and trying to give it to his kid. Mm-hmm. And they're just trying to say, like, that's not going to work because it's encoded to that person already. And so if you took it off... That per- it ruins that person's chance, and it ruins the other person's chance that you're trying to get a bracelet for. <laughs> so That's... nobody wins in that one. <laughs> uh, there were a couple more Marvel ones that went through. Obviously, uh, Mortal Mara, Hulk. Mortal Hulk, I have not read yet. Doctor That's, Doom's yeah, next on one list. wasn't bad. Uh, um, did you read the Harley Quinn? I didn't read. Did that one come out this week? Yeah, this is this um... week. Yeah, this is that one for Sean Murphy's. Uh white knight series so oh, that's why I no, yeah this I, one I hadn't I, di- I didn't read it because of that i wanted to wait because i got to go back through the other ones and rem- remind myself oh kind of rem- yeah uh yeah the the last white knight was really good i really like the white knights no stuff. they're like, good it's they're, really good it's really, it's really well good. written which is yes, one of my yes. big ones uh the other thing and it's the last thing i'll say before we go because we are, it's already seven um oni press released some more rick and morty stuff which was oh cool. yeah, they've been going crazy. Yeah, I've been I checked out the Rick and Morty Go the Hell one. This um, one was nice because they were anthologies of like side characters. So it was uh, oh. Rick and Morty presents Bird Person and Rick and Morty presents oh, yeah. Council of Ricks. That's right. That's right. That came out. So those were pretty cool. I enjoyed those. Uh, they, nice. They weren't like super excellent or anything, but I think they were well made and fit kind of like typ- typical comic stuff. So I'm excited to see what else nice. they do. Uh, I've been liking Strange Academy. I have. Uh, did you check out Shang Chi? I did check out the first one because I really don't know too much yeah, about me him, and either. I just thought I really just read it just to see. Well, I was about hoping him. to learn more about him before his movie. So, <laughs> oh right, that's exactly what I was trying to do. Uh, I guess the other one I read too that was uh, somewhat kind of good was this uh, Werewolf by Night. Yeah, you told me about that one, and actually, I no, checked that one out actually. This one wasn't too bad. This one kind of going was, more into like the indigenous yeah, I kind thought of it was, area. I thought it was interesting, especially then he gets like the you see the super nat paranormal peoples or whatever. The team. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was cool. I can I got to see more. You know, see mm-hmm. how they structure it. But it seemed like a decent start. I like that it we'll wasn't it just goes. the old werewolf by night. No offense yeah. to the old werewolf by night, but no, 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 yeah, no, no, that's fine. Yeah, because that's what I was, uh, hope, like, kind of hoping it was going to be something of a brand new kind of character, which it, yeah, they're kind of doing for us. And the the last one I'll say that I didn't check out, but I want to is Black Widow, Widow Sting, because I'm hoping oh. they start making some good stuff. I have not checked that out, but I have been reading her other mini one just called How Black Widow. It? How was that one? Uh, <laughs> you know, actually, I think I did like this one. Now that I think about, hold on, let me read, let me go through this one more time. <laughs> I think I did end up. Yeah, I did like this one. This one was good. Yeah, this one was good. Cool. Um, 
arcade is involved in this one. Maybe I have read that one actually. No, it's I'm thinking where of she, an electro uh, one. They like they like find her Hawkeye in them. She goes like on this mission, and then it ends up like then she like turns into like this other person. Like yeah, she... I don't think I've seen the one. I think the one I was okay. reading had Electra in it. Uh, okay, yeah, so this that's is a different yeah. One. But it, it was it hasn't been too bad, yeah. So oh, and then finally, one. Amazing Spider Man. What, actually, that's the one last question. So what did you think of who Kindred was like? What like was it that was... like enough for you, or was that like okay? I, I kind of like I I really didn't go... think that was who it was gonna be, and I was like, hmm, that was kind of good. But then I was like. Well, hold on, how does that make sense? Because through the whole That's Red the Goblin I stuff, need to go back what was he through? doing? I need to go back through, and that was my problem, is I don't know how I feel about it, because it took so long to get here, I feel like I'm forgetting things. From all the yeah. way back to the... Uh, Red Goblin. Even beyond, I feel like, when it was pre-stuff, there were hints to him, remember when he was still dealing with the Zodiac or whatever? Oh, yeah. So I'm wondering if maybe that has something to do with it. But once again, I, I need to go back and reread it again to to get a better feel of how, if it was good or bad. I felt I mean, like it wasn't it wasn't bad, but I need to go back. Is, yeah, it maybe just wasn't little, like I'm just wanting to know. Yeah, I need to more. go fill in my holes, basically, yeah, exactly. and see if there's like some stuff where I'm like, eh, or if it's like. No, that makes sense. You know what I mean? Sometimes it takes a minute to get to the conclusion and that makes it maybe not better, but it it fills in those holes and it feels right. But I, I don't know. I You know what I mean? It was a, a pretty decent reveal, at least. It, was, it wasn't like it was totally someone I expected or some shit. You know what I mean? Or like anything like that, but... Yeah, it just didn't. Like I said, it, it wasn't quite right, and I have to go see why it doesn't feel quite right. Uh, with that said, we're... I we, think that was pretty yeah. much it, yeah. Yeah, and we we tried to go a little shorter today. Uh, that never happens. No, we never get too <laughs> short. Uh, but hopefully next time we'll be back next week without too many more delays. And, uh, you know, we appreciate everyone coming to watch, whoever made it through, whoever watches it on YouTube later. You guys are the best. Appreciate you. Uh, yeah. And we'll see you next time on Comic-Con Vos. Have a good one. If you enjoyed watching or want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month.